The opening pasuk of Parshas Noach features two Rashi's that highlight a contrast between Noach and Avram Avinu. The pasuk says, "Elo todos Noach, Noach ish tzaddik. Noach was a righteous person. Tomim hayo bedarasav. He was a, a complete tzaddik in his generation. Eso lokim esalak Noach, and he walked with Hashem." Rashi comments Bidorosov that there are those that darshan, there are those that learn it as a shvach, as a praise, that he was a tzaddik even in his terrible generation, but certainly Koshakain, if he would be in a generation of other tzaddikim, he would have been even greater. And there are those that learn it as a negative, as a genai, that in his generation, relative to the other people there, he was a tzaddik. But Ilu Haya Bidoroshal Avram, if he was in the generation of Avraham, he would not have been significant. What's the significance of that comparison to Avram Avinu? Why Avram Avinu? Why are we darshaning the Ganai? What exactly are we trying to gain? And the next Rashi, Asalokim Mitzalach Noach, that he walked with Noach, also compares the way that Avraham walked with Hashem to the way that Noach walked with Hashem, and seems to clearly imply that it was, there was a greater connection between Avram Avinu and HaKadosh Baruch Hu than Noach. What's going on here? So I heard yesterday a beautiful, beautiful Zohar that helps us get a little, gain a little bit of insight. I heard this from Ryan Lapiansky. And he quotes the Zohar that says that when Noah came out of the Teva, he started to cry. The whole world had been destroyed. And he turned to HaKadosh Baruch and says, I don't get it. You're a Rachaman. You're a merciful God. How could he destroy the entire world? And HaKadosh Baruch Hu turns to Noah and he says, Raya Shatya, you foolish shepherd. I told you this was coming. The whole first Aliyah, the whole beginning of the Parsha says, God says, that I'm sending this mob, the people are terrible. And what does Noah do? He built a teva. He was told to build a teva. And he follows it exactly. And then he goes into his teva. I don't understand. Why didn't you try to inspire the people? Because I'll fill in some of the, the, the details. But in the psukim, nothing. Why didn't you, at least Davin, Avram Avinu, Davin for his generation? He tried to save the people of a terrible place like stone. And you and Oach didn't do anything. You fool. You raya shot, you foolish shepherd. And the question is, what is that description? Why is he called a fool? Why is he called a foolish shepherd? Maybe he's being selfish. What exactly is, what exactly is this comparison to Avram Avinu? And what shifted in Noah? Why didn't Noah daven for the people of the flood? And what the Zohar seems to imply is the following. Then Noah realized, and again, this fits well, if we understand that, you, that there was darshan in the Ganai, not in the most positive sense. Noach is told by HaKadosh Baruch Hu, I'm saving you, but you don't really deserve it. You're not that, that tzaddik for whom the entire world should be just, I, I'm not even sure if you, but I'm going to save you. You are the biggest tzaddik, I'm going to save you. At that point, what is Noach supposed to say? Noach's supposed to say, well, don't just save me, what about everybody else? If somebody's doing a chesed for you, if somebody's doing something nice on your behalf, it's almost inappropriate to start asking for other people. Right? If, if somebody uh, pulls strings to get a visa, to get somebody out of a, de- 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 a, a war situation, or whatever it might be, what's your response going to be? Okay, but what about him? It's not appropriate. Who am I to ask for somebody else? And that was the mindset of Noah. I barely deserve it. So, okay, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is saving me. So I'm going, to, I'm going to take whatever the bracha is, this opportunity, and I'm going to go out. But you know what? If somebody would say, you can go, and then you would respond, but my child is here. Can you save my child? That wouldn't be an inappropriate response. Why not? What's the difference? I won't leave without my child. Why not? Because we view the child as an extension of ourselves. And that really was the difference between Abraham and Noah. Abraham understood that it wasn't just about chesed. It was about a sense of achrayis. It was about a sense of of understanding that everybody else is part of me, my, my self-identification is broader than just me. I can't be the leader of this generation if I'm not going to vouch for the people even of a stone. Noach was a nice guy, Noach would do chesed. But Noach didn't appreciate that his job was to feel that even if he was barely being saved, he should have still tried to bring everybody else. He should have davened. The Navi is called the... the, 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 the Caused the flood, the main Noah, the waters of Noah. Why? Because he didn't daven. Why didn't he daven? He didn't daven because he felt it was inappropriate. But that was the mistake of Noah. And that's why he's called, not a selfish person, but a raya shatya, a foolish shepherd. 
the shepherd is supposed to lead the flock and take full responsibility. Noah did not feel that sense of responsibility. And that's the difference. And that's the contrast between Noah and Avram Avinu. Avram understood that as a leader of a generation, I have an achrayus. I have to expand my, my sense of self to include everybody else. And I'll daven even for the people of Sodom. And in the positive, when it talks about the, if Noah had been the generation of Tzaddik, it doesn't compare it to Avraham. Because had he understood this, okay, he could have been great, he could have been even more. It has nothing to do with Avraham. The contrast to Avraham is this midah, that they lived in difficult times, but Avraham understood that he had a responsibility to everybody else. Noah didn't realize that. He gets out of the teva and HaKadosh Baruch says, where were you? He says, you missed the boat. No pun intended. You missed the opportunity. You should have made sure to daven for everybody else. That's the sense of achrayus. That's a responsibility that you should have had. And maybe that's part of what being in the table was about. Teaching me the entire creation. The animals, everybody's there. You have to be the one who is responsible. And that's a beautiful, beautiful understanding of who Noah was. The Darsh and the Gnai are not trying to knock Noah. But the understanding that Noah was missing this quality of leadership. He wasn't an Avram Avinu. He was a good person. He was a Baal Chesed. He was a Tzaddik. He was a Tamim. But he didn't feel that sense of Achrayus. HaKadosh Baruch Hu feel Achrayus, feel a sense of, of connection to other people, that we should be able to draw closer to other people. And together with those people, if we all are together as one, then hopefully, as opposed to the people later on in the parasha, the Migdal Bubble, who were together as one and used it for negative, we should be able to use it as a positive.